We're at the St. George Library Makerspace in beautiful southern Utah to put to the test the ultimate maker showdown, 3D printers versus the laser cutter. I know it may seem early, but believe it or not, Christmas is just around the corner and I've got a huge project that I need your help to be able to complete in time. You can help raise money for Children's Hospital simply by 3D printing an ornament for a Christmas tree. Check the cards for a video with more information. I've been kind of tangentially interested in laser cutting since I got my first 3D printer because my first 3D printer had a laser cut case to it. And I thought, why? Why would they use laser cutting to make a 3D printer? They have a 3D printer. Now, I never had the chance to really explore this question and, and really what is the big deal with laser cutting because I didn't have access to a laser cutter. But now that the makerspace here in the St. George Library is open, they have a Muse full spectrum laser cutter and so I get the opportunity to play with it and see what the big deal is. The Muse is in the same family as the Glowforge or the Dremel. They're these much easier to use 3D printers and tend to be a little bit more expensive than the cheap Chinese ones which might not make it a fair comparison except that here at the Makerspace, we also have access to some high-end 3D printers that are also more expensive and more easy to use. See, that's the challenge with this comparison. It's not apples to apples. There are bigger 3D printers and smaller 3D printers. There are bigger laser cutters and smaller laser cutters. There are cheap 3D printers from China. There are cheap laser cutters from China. There are expensive options as well. And so depending on the technology that you're comparing, you might come to a different conclusion. But we're going to try as best we can to level the playing field and just talk about the capabilities of these technologies at a high level and decide which one's better. So to begin with, let's talk about the laser cutter. Now, laser cutters are faster than 3D printing, no doubt. Of course, the individual jobs may vary. You might end up doing a job that has a lot of raster elements in it and therefore takes a long time, or you might be doing some simple cuts and you'll be done quickly. But I think a straight comparison across the two, laser cutting definitely wins for speed. <sighs> Yes, 3D printing is slow because you're starting from an empty bed and building things up layer by layer. 3D printing has to work every layer and higher detail parts take even longer. A part that would fill this print bed would take a week to print. Of course, if you're only working with mini 3D printers, you might be able to get away with having your prints only take a little bit of time, but then you're only printing little things as well. So laser cutting for big objects is the clear winner on this one. The other thing about laser cutting is it's a more mature technology. It has been around for a little bit longer and people have had more time to work out the kinks and make it work good. And so it's definitely got that going for it. Although for being so mature, there really aren't a lot of home options for it that are of an affordable nature, which I think is interesting. Now, here at the Makerspace, we have access to a Raze N2+, Plus, which is a mighty 3D printer, but mighty expensive as well. Probably not one that you're going to have in your home. And yet still, it does illustrate, as 3D printing goes compared to laser cutting, that 3D printing could make just about anything that a laser cutter could make. Because laser cutters work on flat surfaces, well, 3D printing can do flat surfaces, but it could also do flat surfaces that stand out and have parts and, and maybe artistic, but maybe functional parts that stick out from the surface that laser cutting can't even touch. Now, of course, every rose has its thorns and laser cutting is no exception. In fact, with the case of laser cutting, you really need to consider ventilation. We have a tube going to the outside, a big powerful fan trying to draw the vent out. Also, there's a big cooling system underneath this laser cutter that's necessary to keep the laser at a manageable temperature. It's not enclosed at all. It tends to sprawl all over the place to do even just the simplest of laser cutting jobs as opposed to 3D printing. 
3D printing is self-contained. It doesn't require anything more than the box that it has. It doesn't require any external components. It is neat and easy to put in a home even, although I do recommend keeping them in a garage, but theoretically, yes, they could be put anywhere, and that's a big plus for the 3D printer. Now, on the design side, laser cutting's a little bit easier. All you have to do is work with two dimensions. You might have to learn a little bit of vector cutting, but other than that, drawing with vectors is, is nothing new to learn. And again, you're only dealing with two dimensions, so design-wise, it might be easier to get started with a laser cutter because you only have to worry about two dimensions. But that also, again, limits the designs that you can make. So, there you go. Now, with laser cutting, you will always have some amount of waste. Every project that you do will have, even if you're using the space effectively, some portion of waste. And potentially with 3D printing, there's a little bit of waste in support materials and possibly wasted prints if you have a failure. But as far as generally speaking, the waste from a 3D printer is a lot less than the, the volumes and volumes of pieces of material on board that you're keeping around, hoping that one day you'll have a piece small enough that'll use, that'll use that exact spot, but not that spot because that spot got ruined, but just this spot right. It's, it's cumbersome, more cumbersome, I think, for laser cutting than 3D printing, so a clear win for 3D printing on this front. And of course, there's the question of safety. With a laser cutter, you are cutting things with fire. The fire danger is not a question of if, but when and whether you're prepared for it. And all of the systems involved in here for keeping it contained are good, but you cannot, under any circumstances, leave a laser cutter to run unattended. You might leave a 3D printer to run unattended, mostly because you do have to eat and sleep once in a while, and these prints take a long time, but generally speaking, it's not going to burn your house down, whereas laser cutting is going to make a valiant effort to if you're not watching it. The 3D Printing Professor is supported by you. Viewers like you can support videos like this directly on PayPal and Patreon and make the projects and builds you see possible. To support, find the links wherever links are found. So there you go. What do you think? Is there a clear cut winner in this case or is it really a case of do you prefer apples or oranges? Now, personally, I still use 3D printing a lot more and my 3D printers are running a lot more, a lot more jobs in general, not just because of the time that it takes to do 3D printing, but I still think that laser cutting has its place and there have been more than a few jobs where I've used laser cutting for one or I've used them both at the same time together making a better tool. As always, I want to thank you very much for watching and remind you whether you're 3D printing or laser cutting, safety first. I'll see you next time.